Hello there. In this video, we're going to cover how to enable the Jira Security tab, how to install the Sneak Security and Jira integration, how to enable Sneak Security Scanning in Bitbucket, and how to get vulnerability data from Sneak into the Jira Security tab. The first thing we're going to do is enable the Jira Security panel by going down to Project Settings, and then clicking on Features, scrolling down a little ways into the Development section, and enabling the Security panel. From here we can go back to Project, and we can now see we have the security panel enabled. So if we click in there, we get to this screen. To connect the Sneak Security and Jira integration, we're going to click Connect Tool. Then we're going to choose Sneak. And then we're going to click Get It Now. Then we're going to close this and click Setup App. From here, we're going to connect our Sneak account. I already have an existing account, so I'm going to click Log Into Your Account. I'm going to choose Atlassian Partner from here, and I'm going to add an org. I'm going to use my ADO Demo Org 3, and I'm going to click Grant App Access. Now that that's done, I can close this tab, and I can refresh this page. Looks like we connected successfully, so now we can go back to the Sneak uh, Security Panel in Jira. Now we can finish setup. To finish setup, we're going to click Finish Setup, and we're going to click Sneak. Then we're going to click Connect Security Containers. Now we're going to choose Sneak Security in Jira. From this dropdown, we're going to select our security containers, and unfortunately, we don't have any yet. So we're going to cancel that, close that, and we're going to add a security container to Sneak. So we're going to jump over to Bitbucket. Inside Bitbucket, I'm going to go down to the Security tab, and then I'm going to click Install Sneak. I'm going to click Allow. And then I'm going to click Sign Up or Log In. And I'm going to choose Atlassian Partner again. I'm going to go to Select Org, and I'm going to grab the same org that I set up in Jira. And click Grant App Access. Cool, now I can close this tab. The initial import failed, so we're going to refresh this page. Now we're going to try again. And it was successful. So with this, we have a repository in that organization and sneak that we created. And we should be able to go back over to Jira and add um, this security container to our security and Jira panel. All right, let's go back to Jira and try to add that security container now. Going to refresh this. Now I'm going to click Finish Setup. I'm going to click Sneak. I'm going to click Connect Security Containers. I'm going to choose Sneak Security in Jira. And from our dropdown, we can now see that the repository we just added to Sneak is available to select. And I'm going to click Add. I'm going to click Show All. And we don't have any vulnerabilities yet, so we're going to refresh this page. And now we can see the vulnerabilities that we have from Sneak populating our security panel. From this page, we can do a few things. First thing we're going to do is filter by severity. So let's take a look at just our critical vulnerabilities. That removes anything that isn't critical. We can also filter by security container. In this case, we only have a single container added to our security panel. So we only have one option in the dropdown. If we take a look at vuln status, we can see we have open, ignored, or closed vulnerabilities. All the ones below are currently open. We can also take a look at issue status to see if they have issues attached to them or the issues are in to do, in progress, or done. So right now, none of our security vulnerabilities have issues attached to them. So let's take a look at how we can do that. 
One thing we can do is we can link to existing issues. So if we click on this, we can click link issue and then we can go to our drop down and we can see some issues. We can choose one and click save. And now that issue will show up in the issues list. Another thing we can do is we can click create issue and we'll get this dialogue. This will be auto populated with information from sneak about what the security vulnerability means and some links to find out more information about it. From here, we can assign it to ourselves or other people. It comes with the label security vulnerabilities. If you want to do reporting, you can add it to a sprint, story points, etc. Once you're ready, you can click create. And now we'll see that we have this security vulnerability linked to sneaks to issue. Directly from this page, we can jump to any of the issues that are linked to our security vulnerabilities just by clicking on the name of the issue. So this will open a new tab and we'll be right into Sneak2 security issue. Through the integration, Sneak also provides links to a variety of informational pages. We can open these in new tabs. And we get additional information about each of these vulnerabilities, which can help us resolve the problem more quickly and understand the potential impacts and problems that are in our code. All right. Thank you for watching this video where we learned how to enable the Jira security tab, install the Sneak security and Jira integration, enable Sneak security scanning in Bitbucket, and how to get vulnerability data from Sneak into the Jira security panel. You can find more videos like this on the Developer's Edge video series on the Atlassian YouTube channel.